Hello everyone, I hope you're doing really well. Today I wanted to talk about some of the shows that I would absolutely love to see in the West End. I've been going to the theatre for um, probably like mm, six or seven years now and the last five years quite uh, intensely. So um, these shows for my recollection have either not been here or only been here briefly and I would just really love them to have a, a proper run in the West End. As always let me know what you think in the comments below. I love reading and responding to loads of theatre comments, they make me really happy. So yeah if you are agreeing or disagreeing with me or if you think I've missed out like a really really good show please do let me know. This list is in no particular order, it's just kind of, I just thought of these shows so the first one is Next to Normal. I discovered this soundtrack, uh, when was it? Probably 2014? So it's been a few years now and I just fell in love. I thought it was such an interesting show and like the whole premise of it, the music is really interesting and I swear I've just, there's been no talk of it coming to the West End. I'm not sure if it has been in the West End, I, I'm sure I did some research on this uh, years ago but yeah it, it's just never been here. I think it would work really well as either a kind of smaller fringe production but I have seen some clips of it online and kind of seen how it looks on a bigger stage and it looks really interesting and I think it's definitely one that we should have in London. I think potentially it would work well in a space like the St James Theatre which is now becoming the other palace especially considering that they are championing like showing new theatre so I know this isn't like a brand new show but it would be a show new to London I think um, and I just think the space would work really well for it that is if they're keeping the space as it is I know they're going through a lot of changes at the moment so who knows what that theatre will be like soon. The next show on my list was quite a big one on Broadway and I'm really sad because I, when I last went to New York I was hoping that I'd be able to see it there but it closed before I got there and that was If Then. You may have heard of it because it had Adina Menzel in it and obviously she's a pretty pretty big name um, but I just really loved the, the soundtrack. I, I just, there's something about it that really like really got to me and just I'd love to see it on stage. I think it's a fascinating storyline. So if you've not listened to it or looked up, I definitely recommend checking it out. I just really, just really enjoy the music of it and I'd love to see it live. The next show on my list was another one that was on Broadway and closed before I got to see it and that was The Last Ship. I will admit I really wanted to see this because Rachel Tucker was in it and if you know me, you know that Rachel Tucker is like, probably number one theatre person for me. I love seeing her perform, I love her singing, she's got an amazing voice and I really wanted to see this show. I thought it sounded really interesting. I heard a couple of the songs but if I, I don't like to listen to uh, either full soundtracks or anything at all really if I know there's a chance I can see a show or if like I'm hoping to see it. So yeah I've only heard a couple of songs from it but it sounded really beautiful and I think I think maybe there was a bit of a um, like a cultural block there in perhaps the American and Broadway audiences not quite getting the show. So I think it would actually work a lot better in the West End. I think it just needed to be closer to its narrative roots if that makes sense. And it's a shame because yeah I really wanted to see it and it had a quite a short run in the end I think on Broadway and it's just quite a shame. So if anyone wants to bring the little ship over and cast Rachel Tucker in it again I'd be very happy with that. Next on my list is a show that again I have not, I mean I've heard a couple of songs from it but that wasn't really by choice, it was from concerts and things like that um, and that's Newsies, Newsies, it's a really weird one to say, Newsies, Newsies? I need to stop saying it now because I'm just going to freak myself out. Anyway, I've seen a couple of promotional bits for this show and I just thought, oh my god, that looks so cool. It closed, I think, way before I went to New York and there were auditions for it in London a few years ago now, but then nothing, nothing came of it. I just, nothing. And there's been no, no news since for newsies. <laughs> but there is going to be a cinema screening of it in a few couple of weeks, in a week the 19th I think. So I'm kind of umming and ahhing about whether to see that because as I've said I like to keep things completely kind of secret in a way until I've seen a show but because they uh, obviously filmed this while it was on stage 
maybe it's not cheating as such because it's not like it's a different production. It is the production that I wanted to see. Hmm. I'm very conflicted about this, but my friend Sam went to see it. She got to go to Disney HQ and watch it there, which is just insane. Like, I'm so happy for her that she got that opportunity and she said it was filmed really, really well. So I think if I don't go and see it and miss out, I will be kicking myself because honestly, who knows when it will eventually come to London. I think it has to, I think it's got to. Maybe they're just waiting for the right theater and the right people. Cause I think that's what the issue was before when they were auditioning, they, they didn't think they had the right people for it, which is a bit rude, but oh well. The next show on my list is a bit of a cheat because it has been in London and I have seen it in London, but I think it would be awesome to see it in a much bigger space. And that was Dogfight. I loved Dogfight. It was at the Southwark Playhouse, which is quite a small little fringe venue. It's very lovely and it was a beautifully done production, but I've seen um, kind of promotional images and stuff of how it was when it was off Broadway, I think it was and it just looked amazing with a bigger set and I mean I would just really love to see that show again to be honest because it was absolutely beautiful and yeah it it wasn't I mean none of the runs at the Southwark Playhouse are really long so I think it was only on for a couple of months or something but it was just so beautiful and I'd love to see it again. The last show I want to talk about here is um it's not really it's, it's not a full show yet I don't think. Basically uh the duo Kerrigan and Loudermilk came over to the UK in 2014 and did some concerts and they were amazing their music is incredible and they like debuted I think a couple of songs from a show they were working on um I believe it's called Republic let me just google that quickly yeah so it's called Republic and I will read out the synopsis for you because it sounds interesting Republic is quite a hard show to describe and obviously I only heard a few musical snippets of it but the snippets that I heard have stuck with me three years on so I think that says a lot it's a really interesting concept for a show they've basically taken Shakespeare and Northern Ireland in the 1970s and kind of uh, used the themes from Shakespeare and mixed it in with political happenings and what? <laughs> it just sounded like such an interesting concept and the music was obviously great. There's videos out there I, uh, I will link them below if I can remember to. If not you can find them online just search Kerrigan and Louder Milk Republic. I believe it was Stuart Matthew Price and who else? I think Rachel Tucker actually sang with him on one of them. Yeah um and it was beautiful, the music just sounded incredible. I really wanted to add more kind of really actually new shows onto this, this list, but it's hard to describe them when there's kind of either no information out there or no music out there. So I picked obviously like shows that have already existed elsewhere. But yes, Republic is one that I would absolutely love to see, yeah, make birth. I don't know, in the UK or Ireland, they think it would just be interesting. And Kerrigan and Loud Milk had such a good reception when they came over here last. I think all of their shows sold out. So yeah, I think we would appreciate uh, their stuff. But in general, I am just always excited for new theater. I can't say new, 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 just because of Newsies. Newsies has ruined me. Yeah, new shows, original concepts and original songs and things like that. So. This is why I'm really excited about the other palace actually, just going on a bit of a tangent because they, uh, yeah, Andrew Lloyd Webber bought the St. James Theatre, I forgot what it's called then, and I just think it's going to be really interesting to see what's on there because he wants to put on uh, either new stuff or just different stuff, and I mean the St. James's have already always done that, but I think it'll be interesting to see what goes on in that theatre, it's a beautiful theatre anyway as well, so yeah. That's my ramblings for today. <laughs> if you were to write a list like this, what shows would you want to see? It can be stuff that's been on Broadway, off Broadway, off West End, blah, blah, blah. Stuff that you have not seen in the West End, what would you like to see? I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you have, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you should do that, please, and thank you. <laughs> I hope you're all doing really well, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.